I gotta give some credit to Elon again because he gave a full self-driving bay to Deadline and he matched it. That does seem pretty rare these days, so anytime it does happen, I want to applaud him. He said the full self-driving beta version 10 would drop at Friday at midnight and it technically didn't start showing up in people's cars until around 1 a.m. Pacific, but Elon might be in some different time zone, I don't know. But basically, pretty much right on the money, it did drop this morning and I've been watching videos from Chris of Dirty Tech. Tesla, Gali from Hyperchange, Omar, and the overall consensus so far is that it's a notable step change up from beta 9.2, which Elon Musk was telling people would blow their minds, and I gotta say, because FSD has just been so late and delayed and pushed back so very many times, it's kind of difficult to necessarily blow everyone's mind when everyone's kind of expecting, you know, level 5 robo-taxis within the next couple months or something like that, so expectations were certainly high, but I do think beta 10 is doing a good job matching that with very very confident unprotected left turns going through roundabouts much smoother and even performing very well at nighttime in the rain of course it is not completely perfect but the rate of times we're seeing zero disengagement drives is increasing and this is a good overall message for mass deployment which is I think what everybody mostly cares about with all of this FSD beta stuff and because Elon stayed true to his word with this Friday release I do think it's reasonable to assume, memes aside, that we might be two weeks away from the gradual rollout of the beta button. So I don't know to the extent of how gradual this rollout is going to be, but Elon Musk did state in a tweet that the beta button will be gradually rolled out. I'm not sure if he's just talking about it will come to the United States first and then other countries, or if he's maybe starting within California and then expanding out aside from that. It makes sense with prototype software like this to be extra, extra careful and maybe if they roll out the button to a few 10,000 people and they notice a huge uptick in accidents and collisions and a bunch of backlash, that might potentially hurt the rollout of the beta button, so I hope that's not the case, but basically 10.1 is supposed to be the version where we start seeing the button and that's supposed to launch less than two weeks from now, and I don't know why, you know, I've been hurt before and I've been disappointed before, but I'm getting excited again and thinking Elon's actually gonna stay true to his word because he stayed to the the launch of beta 9 and now beta 10 so if he's telling us two weeks from Friday which was yesterday for 10.1 which will have a single stack copy of full self-driving for highway and city streets that means of course far less disengagements far less interventions and this software actually making its way into everyday vehicles not just beta testers that are carefully pre-selected as we're watching right now but I will agree that this redesigned approach at tackling the problem with going all in on vision only only is making me kind of feel that full self-driving is a lot closer than what I thought it was in the past. So to be fair, I had a pretty far out timeline in my head. I was imagining like maybe 2030, but there's still a likelihood in my head that we will never reach that level five robo taxi future just because of regulators slashed the trail of nines not being high enough. And of course, back at autonomy day, Tesla thought they were a lot closer than they really were. And they kind of reached a false maximum with their dated approach of self-driving. Now with using more neural net training and treating the environment around the car as more of a four-dimensional video with a lot of visual kinetics and estimating where vehicles are going to be even when certain cameras are obstructed. I think that they're able to achieve far more success and it's really exciting to finally see this growth and see how much better the software can get week after week after week. But it's very difficult to know if we're ever going to hit another false maximum with this approach to full self-driving. Could there be more obstacles in the future that Tesla didn't foresee? And could there be more difficulties than they realize that prevents them from making truly autonomous vehicles without steering wheels? But like I've talked about in previous videos, I'm kind of okay if it takes them a long time to hit that true level five because I'm worried that if Tesla starts manufacturing vehicles without steering wheels, there'll not really be much purpose in selling them to people. They would rather just own them as robo taxis and rent them out. And seeing all of this FSD beta development gets me excited because my dream for autonomous driving is level three. You know, I want the future where I can get in my own car that, you know, I paid for and that's mine and no one else's and I can just tell it where I want to go and it drives me to my destination. I can be watching a movie on the display. I can be reading a book, checking my phone. Heck, maybe even one day just fall asleep 
and just let the car drive me wherever I want to go. And there's still a steering wheel for those very small circumstances where I need to intervene. And sure, the car can scream at me and the alert sensors can go off to say, hey, wake up, take over, I don't know what to do. And I'll take over when you're going through those complicated construction zones and there's workers trying to wave you in and that type of thing. I could see the FSD beta having a very, very difficult time handling for many years to come. But for the vast majority of driving, knowing that the car can do all of it and seeing how much much better it's gotten in the past few weeks is really exciting is very encouraging for the future i still firmly believe tesla is further ahead in autonomy than anybody else simply for the factor of scale knowing how many potential vehicles this software can run on doesn't really matter to me that there's a few geofenced areas where waymo is able to drive autonomously because it's heavily mapped it's not as scalable and those vehicles cost far more than teslas will ever cost especially if they start building them as robo taxis that's going to be way cheaper than the model 3 even. But I'm very curious, of course, what you guys think. Do you believe Elon will stick to this timeline of actually two weeks? And does watching all these videos make you think robotaxis are closer, or do you still have your doubts that this will be ready within the next decade? Feel free to let me know. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Take care.